Hey guys, it's Pastor Sam, and today we are going to be making elephant toothpaste. No, we're not gonna actually brush the teeth of an elephant, but we are gonna be combining these ingredients to see if we can make a reaction that creates foam that looks just like toothpaste, but big enough for an elephant. So today, in order to do this, you're going to need a couple plastic bottles. This one used to have vanilla syrup, and this is just a plain water bottle. A little funnel, some hydrogen peroxide. This one is just the kind that you can get at the pharmacy, but if you have 10% or more, the foam will be even more dramatic. Some food coloring, warm water, yeast, soap, and a measuring cup. And then we'll combine it all together and see what happens. So the first thing we're gonna do is take about a half cup of hydrogen peroxide and we're gonna add it to each of our bottles. Now remember, if you use anything more than 3% hydrogen peroxide, you're gonna to wanna to be really careful and make sure you use gloves so that you don't get the chemicals in your hand. Then our next step is we're gonna add several drops of food coloring to our bottles of hydrogen peroxide. Then we'll just swirl it around a little bit to make sure we mix it up really well. And on this bottle, we will try dribbling the food coloring down the sides to see if that will make a little bit of a different effect for our elephant toothpaste. The next thing we're gonna do is we're going to take about three tablespoons or four tablespoons of water and add it to a container that has one packet of active dry yeast in it. Now that we've done those steps, I've moved our stuff to a baking tray just in case our foam makes a little bit of a mess. Now our last step is to add a bit of dish soap to each bottle. And now we are ready to combine the yeast mixture with the hydrogen peroxide mixture and see what happens. You ready? All right, let's try it out. All right. Whoa, okay. So it looks like the water bottle reaction is pretty big. And now we have some pink foam coming out of this bottle. Whoa, can you see all that? Oh my goodness. Better put my goggles on just in case some gets in my eye. So as you can see, all of those ingredients combine to create a reaction that caused this big foamy overflow from our bottles. And some people like to call that elephant toothpaste because especially for this one, it almost looked like there were little stripes on the white foam and you can almost imagine putting it on a giant toothbrush and then scrubbing an elephant's teeth with it. But why does this reaction happen? Let's look at the science behind it. So we saw that when we combined all of those ingredients, this reaction happened. But why? The last couple of weeks we have been talking about molecules, which are little tiny particles that make up everything that we see. But there's actually something even smaller than molecules, and those are called atoms. We use hydrogen peroxide in each of these bottles. And hydrogen peroxide is made out of oxygen and hydrogen. You can kind of imagine it as a structure like this. There's two atoms of hydrogen and two atoms of oxygen. But what happens when we put the yeast and the water in is that it forms a catalytic reaction. Now a catalyst is something that speeds up a reaction. So you can kind of imagine if my hands were the yeast and the water or the catalyst, it kind of comes in and breaks everything apart. And it doesn't just break everything apart, but it creates something completely new. Instead of having two atoms of hydrogen and two atoms of oxygen, now we have one atom of hydrogen and two atoms of oxygen all over the place and other atoms of oxygen are separated out. So it looks something like this. 
And now instead of having hydrogen, we have H2O, also known as water, and oxygen molecules. And when this happens, heat is generated, and it happens so quickly that bubbles are generated, and it overflows when it combines into something completely different. So we started with hydrogen, but we ended with water and with oxygen, two completely different substances than we started with. So why are we talking about a catalyst? Well, as you know, it is almost Easter, and Easter is when we celebrate that Jesus Christ came to our world and he entered our world and by his death changed everything. Just like that catalyst entered these bottles and completely made something totally new. And it's so interesting because when we think about our lives, sometimes it feels like things will never change or we won't change. And it's true, we cannot change ourselves. Just like the hydrogen in the bottle is never going to make elephant toothpaste all on its own. But if you and I will invite Jesus into our hearts, like a catalyst, Jesus promises that he will enter our lives and he will change us completely and make all things new in our lives because he loves us. In Isaiah chapter 43, verse 18, God tells us, Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? What God is saying is that He can be that catalyst in our lives. If we will allow Jesus into our hearts and into our lives, He can change us completely so that His love in us overflows to everyone else, just like the foam flowed out of this bottle. So remember today, as you listen to your pastor share on Jesus' seven last words, that Jesus tells us, I want to make all things new in your life because I love you forever.